Hi everybody, my name is Steve. I'm an advisor with Financial Strategies Group and I'm here today with my son Ethan. He's 18 years old. He just graduated from high school. We just wanted to have a little conversation about the future and uh, what he has in mind and how his plans are going to work. Just start off with what, uh, what's your initial plans? What are you thinking? I'm working right now, so I plan on working through college. My job will help me work through that, through college, which is nice. They'll help me out quite a bit. <laughs> so have you thought about how you're going to pay for that, how school's going to get paid for? Student loans? Probably through student loans. loans, yeah. I'll have to say student loans. You're familiar with how they work? No, not really too familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I should be, but... Uh, go to the financial aid office and get yourself set up with, with a counselor there to go through the options of student loans, grants, things of that nature. Uh, grants are something that you are given as, as a gift, so to speak, and you don't have to pay those back. And then there's loans, which you pay back after you're done with school, usually six to nine months after you've completely finished your college education. Do you have any bills or anything that you have to plan for outside of school? I mean, I have like my monthly subscriptions to like have my music and maybe if like a thing on video games or something like that, but that's about it. Have you thought about how, how you spent your money now as opposed to when you were a little bit younger? Now it's a little bit more stuff that matters to me, like that I have to have or not like just want, because before I'd just like drive around, buy random stuff at a store because I thought it was cool or funny. But now it's like parts for my car and gas, <laughs> stuff yeah. that I need. So do you have any, any anything you've bought that you're really happy with or anything that you really wish you hadn't bought, spent money on that you <laughs> wish you could get back? Nothing that I've regretted buying or anything like that. It's always <laughs> been like my, my choice. I have to say my dirt bike and my car along with my laptop because they all help me. Well, the dirt bike <laughs> hel helps me have fun. Do you understand how some of the other things fall into place as far as you're traveling so you're going to have some gas bills, probably mm. food bills as you're out and about. Do you have anything set aside or an idea of how you're going to save or budget yourself for the next couple of years? <laughs> uh, not at the moment. Uh, I'll definitely have to figure it out. It's important to take time to, to figure out a budget, um, pay yourself first. Um, a lot of people say I believe in saving is easiest when you pay yourself before you pay all your bills and decide how much fun you're going to have for that week or right. two weeks, however your paychecks run. Um, as far as, you know, even thinking about the future of how you're going to pay your student loans back, are you going to pay a little bit back during school? Are you just going to pay them back when you're finished? Mm -hmm. Some people like to end up without any debt at the end of school. So as a follow-up to, to parents out there with kids that are just finishing high school, heading to college or trade school, or just going to work and, and figure things out as they go. It's important to make a plan to sit down, have that hard conversation with your child to one, help them figure out where they're at, what they're thinking, what they want to do with their future. It's probably going to change. It probably changed for most of us as well. But to have that conversation, give them a voice, uh, make sure you, you hear them, make sure that you're making all of your knowledge available to them. If it makes sense, even if you have a financial advisor, to invite them into the next meeting, to figure out what makes the most sense. Especially for parents where, if you're going to be involved with your child in the school loans, make sure that being involved in that makes sense in your plan as well. Hope this was helpful. Um, I know it's, it'll be helpful for us, and, and uh, well, hopefully we'll talk soon.